All right, we're going to go over um, the Theta S app for the Ricoh Theta S 360 camera. So let's go ahead and uh, log in. Uh, as you can see here, um, this basically displays um, what images and videos are currently on the device. Uh, I've already went out and taken a lot of photos and uh, videos at Forest Park. So we can see basic usage, basic, basic functionality, deleting, sharing to Facebook, YouTube, which are the, the two main 360 platforms as of right now. Uh, we can do some basic editing, uh, just clipping. So let's go ahead and share this video. So we have all the typical options to share, whoops, to where we want. Uh, most of the times it is just to Facebook and YouTube because those have 360 viewers built in. So Theta 360 has its own little social network type of thing where People post all their fancy pictures of the of they've taken with the Theta. Uh, we got still images, video, as well as the Theta M15 still images and video. So you can see all the interesting pictures and video that other people with the same camera have taken. So let's take a, a look at the uh, settings. We have uh, share settings for Facebook and Twitter. You can hook those up so you can easily share uh, to those social networks. Uh, we have a few links that go directly to the website for help and information. Uh, the basic versioning and stuff like that. But overall, this is a pretty basic, simple app can't really screw up on which is nice let's go ahead and uh, connect to the theta let me turn on the Wi-Fi again on the device on the actual camera and it does automatically turn off after a certain amount of time if you don't use it, which is a nice feature. Otherwise, you would totally run out of battery, which seems to be a typical thing on uh, the Nikon. Nikon does that. Uh, I believe the Gear 360 does that. I'm not sure if the Fly 360 does that, though. I'm not sure. All right, so we should be good. So we need to find our Theta friend. We're going to connect to him. And we should be good to go. So let's go ahead and connect to the Theta. I don't know why it asked me to find the Theta again when I just literally just clicked on it. Connect. To the theta. And the theta is definitely not a giraffe. Well, that's strange. That's a little strange. Um, let's go ahead and close out of it and try to reconnect. Okay. Okay, so the Wi Fi. So we turn the Wi Fi back on. So we should be good. Uh oh, the power button's blinking at me. I don't know what that means. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Where's it at? Here we go, connect. Game time. Come on. That is not the right app. Uh, connect to no internet. Perfect. So we are good to go. So we are now connected, uh, as we can see. 
we have um, video and photos on the device itself. We have a bunch of images and video that we've transferred. And if we click on the, so on the bottom right corner, you can see the little theta icon. So this will connect to the theta. And we should get, I don't know if we get a live view or not. I think for pictures, there you go. And there's my amazing soccer socks. So let's go ahead and take a picture. Uh, that's probably going to be distracting. There we go, taking a picture. And let's go ahead and take a video as well. Shooting ended. All right, so now we have, um, I would assume, two more videos. Um, they're definitely not on the device. They should be the cam images. It's a little strange. Usually when you, oh, I guess I didn't swipe down enough for the uh, update. Okay, so we, ha we have our images. Let's go ahead and take a peek real quick. See how it looks. So one thing I really like about the Theta is that it doesn't have any stitching issues. As you can tell, um, if you do take a look at the Nikon 360, um, it does not only have stitching issues at this close of a range, but it also has um, the, the lens um, lighting is incorrect. So if you would look at the ceiling um, in the uh, review of the Nikon 360, you can totally tell that each lens, lens is taking in a different amount of light. Here, it looks like there's no difference whatsoever. It looks exactly like a normal picture that you would take inside this room, which is quite impressive. Um, that's one thing I do enjoy about the, the Ricoh Theta is no matter how close you're taking a picture of something, there typically is never a stitching issue. Like this is a pretty solid picture and I am what, uh, about, two feet away from the camera and you can't really tell there's any stitching issues so that's that's pretty nice let's go ahead and download the video Slowly but surely. Come on, camera. All right. Um, so apparently. I don't move very often. I promise this is a video. There might not be any action, but... Is... Really? This is this a video? Yep, I'm breathing, so it is definitely a video, so we're good to go. So there you go. Uh, so the Im so on the video, you can slightly, slightly tell there is um, a lighting difference from lens to lens. Uh, as you can see on the ceiling, 
it's slightly more yellow and white because of the uh, the lighting of the lens but other than that overall it looks pretty good um, there's like no major stitching issues looks pretty good to me so let's go ahead and uh, oh look at that we can even uh, modify some things which I have absolutely no idea what I'm doing um, so that's always nice uh, let's go ahead and sh yeah so there you go so you can share to Facebook and YouTube um, that's basically the app it's it's quite simple it's easy to use um, there's not as many options available um, as the Nikon 360 but if you export this and upload it into let's say AVP or some other software that allows you to edit 360 videos you can actually make the slight changes to make the the lighting not as noticeable uh, of a difference so but overall this is a pretty good example of the quality of the Ricoh 360 um, I also have uh, some links uh, as well links to panoramic viewers online uh, it's they're public I've uploaded a lot of uh, panoramic images for each 360 video or each 360 camera so that way you can compare and contrast of uh, the quality as well as videos so on our YouTube channel and Facebook we've posted uh, quite a lot of videos so check those out as well but uh, I think this is the end of the uh, the review for the, the the Ricoh Theta overall it's it's simple to use very simple to use basic settings um, it's pretty hard to, to screw up on a, a simple app like this and this is probably why it has one of the highest ratings uh, for all the, the 360 apps so yeah that is it